you're walking in order, when you're walking with, with, in righteousness, when you're walking in, in holiness, everything around you begin to come into order. The order of God, the order of heaven. Everything around you begin to experience the mercy of God. The whole creation begin to align with the purpose of God. I challenge you to believe this. Your classmates that are misbehaving, they are waiting for you to align with the purpose of God. To align with the purpose of God in the place of prayer. To align with the purpose of God in the place of the reading of the scriptures. Imagine if the Holy Spirit falls on you, you do, and you just walk into the classroom and everybody begins to feel, oh, oh, and you don't know what is going on. It has happened before. Charles Philly, he walks into a restaurant and everybody in the restaurants begin to go, ah, ah, and they begin to repent of their sins. Nobody has preached. Nobody has said a word. I am waiting for God to manifest himself through my life. I want you to have a desire for God to manifest himself through your life. Can you imagine? you just standing with someone and God gives you a word of knowledge and it is the is a secret of that. You know, we've been traveling around Washington State and Oregon. You know, we will get to it. We got to a place and the Lord said to me, say to them, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. <laughs> I mean, that's a common scripture, right? And I said to them, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And it was as if God came down. And everybody began to weep. And, and I'm wondering, it's a common scriptures. Why are they all crying? It says, just a word. Boom. The secret of the heart of men was laid open. It didn't happen in just one place. We go to the next stop. And we said what God wanted us to say. <laughs> God touched the secret of their heart. I am asking you to believe. To believe for God to use you. To use you in this church. Because you are the first fruit of the Spirit. And you should grow on within yourself. Verse 23 says, as you seek the adoption, the redemption of your body, God wants to do great things. Can you say with me, God wants to do great things? This is a serious matter. God wants to reveal his presence on the earth. And he says, I you. I need you to be my agent. I need you to reach to the community. I need you to touch the people in your workplace. I need you to be my agent. Benga. Can you imagine during the Welsh revival, the presence of God was so mighty that the, the donkeys could not do their work again. Because before then, the only way to get the donkeys to walk was by cursing them. They will curse them. They will curse them. You this, move. You that, move. <laughs> and then the people got born again. They could not curse again. So the donkeys don't understand any other language than curse. <laughs> so they have to bring in a new set of donkeys that understood God bless you. <laughs> because the whole set of the former donkeys all they understood was devil's language they had to go and bring in a new set of donkeys may that happen in our life in Jesus name. in 
know, I went to Olympia, Henry, and it was a city that was filled with idolatry. Idols everywhere. How I pray that what happens with Paul in Athens will happen with Henry in Olympia. Amen. And men will say, tell us the story again. Tell us the story of God's redemption. Tell us the story of God's salvation. Tell us the story of God's deliverance. Tell us again. I wish what happens during the what happened during the Welsh revival will happen with Benga in the airport. And instead of foolish interaction, there will not come holy conversations. How I wish that God will visit the schools and cause his name to be glorified. This is a message I bring you this morning. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? More love, more power. Arise again within our souls. Oh God, our cry 